633, Indiana leads the country in meth incidents. The Indiana Youth Institute just released its Kids Count report. It says the state is also higher than the national average for the number of children living with an adult who has a drug or an alcohol problem. WSBT 22's Alex Elich is at the live desk. And Alex, quite honestly, these numbers are pretty shocking. Yeah, that's right, Bob and Leanne. 362 kids were found living in a meth lab environment in 2014. And then another 323 children were removed from homes with meth-related crimes in 2015. A child psychologist I talked to says the number one reason they're involved with child abuse and neglect cases is related directly to substance abuse, and meth in particular. Experts are calling it an epidemic. Of the drug-related uh, cases, actually, normally it's, it runs, meth actually runs between 70 75 percent of our, our drugs. Officials say a fourth of those meth cases involve kids. The kids, they're the particularly innocent victims who find themselves pulled out of their homes, key relationships disrupted, um, and their neurological functioning potentially disrupted by exposure to the chemicals before birth and after birth. After a caregiver is taken into custody, Child Protective Services becomes involved. The child is taken into foster care and then referred to counseling if needed. Our children have to be taken away from actually the parents, uh, and that's probably one of the saddest things to actually see is that the parents, uh, when they are uh, into meth, uh, methamphetamine that strong, sometimes uh, they actually uh, don't fight as much uh, about giving up the children. Uh, the, the, their, their sole concentration is about maintaining and, and keeping that high. It can have profound effect on children's mental health. It can affect their ability to develop meaningful attachments and appropriate relationships for years and years to come. According to a 2012 survey, 13.4% of Hoosier kids have lived with someone who has a substance abuse problem. That's worse than the national average of 10.7%. If I am more drawn to the demands of my drugs of choice than the responsibilities of parenting, you have disrupted early childhood attachment. But there is a silver lining. The good news is with the right help and the right support and the right caregiving, many of them can bounce back and do pretty well. Kosciuszko County Sheriff's Department says kids who live in meth lab conditions are unaware because they've been exposed to it for so long. And most of these meth labs are reported by citizens, either by specific odor or suspicious behavior. At the Live Desk, Galaxy Lich, WSBT 22 News.